Hi, my name is Jeffrey Criffey, and for my master's thesis, I built a pipeline from going from industry standard content creation programs like Maya um, all the way to rendering in a web browser with WebGL. So first we're going to start out with a proprietary file, a Maya binary file. Um, and I've got it open here in Maya. I'll just play a few frames here for you and you can see that he's, he's animated, he's dancing around, uh, he's got a skeleton. Um, so we need to convert him eventually to JSON so that we can render him in WebGL. So we just go to File up here and Export All. And Maya comes with a Collada exporter. So I just need to go through here and check to make sure I'm exporting my animations. And make sure I'm baking the animation. And all the way down to the bottom, I want to triangulate and handle single matrices just for uh, convenience purposes. So let's call this demo. I'm going to export them. It'll take just a second here for, for us to get a Collada file out. Now we have this demo.da file. This is the Collada file. It's basically XML. And what we're going to do is use a Python program to parse that XML and take out the information we need and then save it as JSON. So I'm just going to run it here on our demo.da file. So now we have this JSON file. And what I need to do here is just assign the top of the JSON file to a global variable, sort of a quick and dirty way of getting it in, a, in your HTML page. So now that that's done, I can actually go back and render this guy in Chrome. So there he is. Um, I can play his animation there. Pause it, restart it, turn the lighting off and on. You'll notice that he looks a lot better with the lighting on. Um, you know, there's a lot of extra information associated with that, but it really helps with the realism. But yeah, that's the whole process. You start out in Maya, you export it as Collada, you take the Collada file, you get a JSON out of it, and then you can finally render it in a web browser. Thank you.